I forgot to turn my music on. Get out of my face. I'm trying to turn my music on. Perfect. Okay, you ready for the video to start? Here's my intro. Growing up and celebrate, now let's get medicated. Man, let's get medicated. What is going on, YouTube? My name is Solo Maker, and welcome back to Black Ops 3. I really hope this is a semi enjoyable experience because I played for probably about 20 minutes beforehand and it was just, it wasn't that fun. So, hopefully, this is just a little bit better for my sake because I don't want to play it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Oh my god, I would have been behind every single fucking one of them! Yep, great start to the video. Fucking fantastic. So, I have two things, like, right off the top of my head to talk about today, and I got a hit marker on a cloud. That's fucking amazing. And one thing is, yeah, again, it's about my case, so I'm sorry I keep bringing that up. It's actually out for delivery, like, as I speak, so chances are it's gonna be here by the time I'm done, <coughs> excuse me, um, editing and possibly even rendering this video. I don't know if it'll be that long, but it should be here pretty damn soon. Well, be at my brother's house, because... As I mentioned before, I have all my stuff shipped to my old house, which is now my brother's house, simply because I live in kind of a bad neighborhood, and the last thing I want to do is spend good amount of money on anything online and have it stolen. No, 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 no. No! No! I'm so fucking bad. I am so fucking bad. I am so fucking bad. Oh my god, why do I play this shit? Why do I even try for clips? Why the fuck do I even try to go for clips? But, as I've said 300 times in this video so far, my case is going to be here today. I don't know if this video is going to be paired up with the unboxing. It depends when I get my case. Um, hopefully yesterday's video went up with my case unboxing, but it might be going up. But my case unboxing might be going up with this video. It depends on when I make that video. And also something I want to talk about as far as the unboxing. I'm not going to be using my cell phone. Well, I might be using my cell phone. I don't know yet. I don't have, like, an actual video camera. I mean, I sort of do. It's one of those old, like, flip cameras. Actually, hold on. If I can... Yeah, that's right there. I have one of these. One of these old-ass fucking, like, flip video cameras. They make them to where they record in higher resolutions, like, um, 720 and 1080. However... I've had this video camera for probably like six or seven fucking years. I've had it for a very long time. I got it when I was a kid. And the model I got, I ended up getting it at a pawn shop. And it only records in 480p. No, come here. I'm not dealing with you. Easiest spawn trap known to fucking man. And I fuck it up every single time. But the whole point of me bringing that up is if I do like kind of... I wouldn't say like a time-lapse build of my computer once I have all the parts because I would need a tripod which I don't have and I would need like a good sized area with a lot of lighting which I might be able to pull off so I don't know maybe I will do end up doing a time-lapse I doubt it but possibly but I might just cover up the like the main stuff of it but as far as the unboxing if I use that camera the whole point of me bringing up that it's 480p instead of like 720 or 1080 is that it's a lower resolution and slightly noticeable lower resolution. It's not really that noticeable between 480 and 720, but if you have a good eye, you will be able to notice it. Yeah, yeah, I have enough for one of these stupid ass things. I don't know why I bother even buying them, but I guess that's really the only thing I can use the points for, so might as well. Yep. And I will never use it. And something I was really supposed to mention in yesterday's video, but one, just did not have the time because the video would have been long as shit, just like the GTA video, as well as I didn't think a lot of people would view the Dying Light video. Which, and I wasn't actually going to bring this up. However, um, the other day I tried live streaming. I mean, not like seriously, I didn't like announce it on Twitter. Hey, Mez is live streaming, come watch me. Even though like two people maybe would like come view my live stream. Like, at that time, it's not like I'm going to get everybody that watches my videos, which is, like I said, roughly 20 people, to come view me streaming all at once, like, as soon as I fucking try to do it for the first fucking time. Oh my god, I am so bad at this game. But just for the hell of it, I tried to live stream to YouTube, and, and I didn't do it on Twitch because I needed to make a new Twitch account anyway, and Elgato, which has its own built-in streaming feature, asked me for an account, so I just like, yeah, I'll just do it on YouTube. That way I can just set it on private, view it myself, and stuff like that. And that's all it was, just to test out my possible capability of live streaming. And I found out two things. One, I can stream pretty much seamlessly at 480p, which is not that much. If you, Like I said earlier, if you compare 720, which is the video you're watching now, it's 720p if you haven't maxed out, um, to 480p, it's really not that big of a difference unless you have kind of a sharp eye, you might notice it. However, I found out I can stream somewhat well on 720p as well at 1.80 megabits per second, which you may not know what that means, but it's fine, you don't really have to. The point is, I can somewhat um, stream stably at 720p. And the very few of you that would actually want to watch my stream may be asking, well, when do you plan on start streaming? I really don't 
at the moment because I mean I don't I don't really see myself ever really live streaming but mostly because I mean hell I do cut comms on a daily basis this this is what I do I sit here I record for a half hour I cut out all the bits that I'm not talking in and I just put it into a video and the whole purpose of me doing cut comms in the first place because one they're easy to make they're semi enjoyable to watch and to me the biggest pro of making cut commentaries is I can cut out mistakes I can cut out any bits and bobs that I don't want you people to see Are you fucking serious? Yeah, go away. Find a fucking new corner. Oh, nope, he's gonna sit his fucking ass right here. But, as I was saying, the biggest con to streaming versus, you know, me just sitting here and doing cut comms is with cut comms I can cut out any mistakes that I possibly make, which is a shit ton of them. I make a lot of mistakes while recording my videos, whether it be just me messing up a sentence, or me screwing up, like, every single word that possibly comes out of my mouth, or, you know, just, even just little minor mistakes, like me saying the wrong thing and having to restart. And with live streaming, that's the problem, it's, it's, it's live, I can't fix it if it's live. But, anyway, back to the subject at hand, the whole reason I brought up streaming in the first place is because if you paid attention to my channel a few days ago, you may have noticed like seven different live streams that went up on my channel and my friend Hale directed me to this and I found out and I saw that one of my streams had four views, one dislike and it was like a stream of me watching Markiplier on YouTube because I was just sitting here on my, well, YouTube on my Xbox One watching Markiplier and I was like, I wonder if this thing can stream from my computer, my shitty ass fucking computer I might add. So I set my account up, put live stream on and just started streaming to my YouTube channel. However, I put it to private. And it wouldn't let me view it on private, so I put it on Unlisted. If you don't know what Unlisted is, Unlisted is pretty much private, but you can send a friend of yours a link to that video, and he will be able to see it, even though it is private to everyone except for whoever has that link. So I put it on Unlisted through my Elgato software, and apparently it was public on YouTube, which I don't like that it was public on YouTube because I didn't need people seeing it. I just wanted to test out the functionality of it. I wanted to, like, play around with the settings and see what I could actually achieve, and like I said, I managed to achieve stable 720p resolution. I mean, it was still a little wonky at times, but the bottom line is it was mostly stable. But yeah, bottom line, I can stream. Will I stream? Probably not. But I just thought I'd bring up why my fucking channel had like seven live streams going up on it at the same time. So without further ado, I think I'm going to go and wrap this video up here, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel with your friends. It really helps a lot. And as always, game on. Um, Alien vs Predator for the Xbox 360. You guys have never played Alien vs Predator. Like, not Alien Isolation or anything like that. Alien vs Predator for the Xbox 360. You are missing the fuck out because that game was awesome. Well, at least if you're like a fan of the movie like I am, I'm a...